Lights! Camera! Action! Hey y'all, welcome back to this week's The Charming Southern Mess. I'm so excited slash nervous slash anxious because I am recording on a new camera this week and I have a new lighting set too so you can see me better. And I hope that this video turns out great. I, uh, trial run. Why not? This week I'm going to teach you how to handle haters. Haters have been around for as long as humans have been exist in existence because we are flawed race, obviously. Haters are people who have negativity within themselves and they need to project it outward to get it out of their body. Since people have been putting themselves out there, people have been criticizing them, i.e. Jesus. It's been around for a long time. So today I'm going to give you five ways to handle haters because you know that haters are going to hate, 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 hate. Anyways, number one. When haters come at you with bad comments, they are projecting their inner hatred for themselves onto you. So why not agree with them? They're trying to get a reaction out of you. So if you agree with them, they're going to be so confused. All they want is a fight anyways. It completely deflates a bully's self-worth if you won't argue with them. It's like arguing with a stuffed animal or something. You are really stupid. Your videos are stupid. I hate your hair. No, yeah, totally. I completely agree. I agree with you. No, but seriously, your hair is so dumb. It's yellow. And I just really hate your videos. No, I agree with you. I should wash my hair more often. What? I hate you. Oh. Okay. Oh, fight with me. That easy, people. Number two. Feel bad for them. Obviously, they have something going on inside where they need to get that hatred out. So, choose not to be affected by them and just to feel bad for them. I hate you. Your videos are stupid and you are so dumb. No, no, I get it. I know. I just, I'm really upset because I feel so sorry for you right now. What? Why do you feel sorry for me? You're the stupid one. I'm just overwhelmed in emotions because I have feelings for you. And I feel so sorry for you. What? Confusion can be the best thing sometimes. They're affected instead of you. I mean, win-win. Number three. Imagine them speaking in a funny way. Like, I don't know, a cat? <coughs> No, keep going. I got it. <laughs> no, stupid. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. I got it. I mean, how can that not make it a lot better? Number four. Imagine them as something so super cute that you couldn't hardly get angry at. Your videos are so stupid. You're a stupid human being and I wish you would die. because you're so stupid. Uh -huh. Number five, kill them with kindness, just like your mom told you. You're stupid, I hate you, you're dumb, I wish you would die. I appreciate you. What? And your opinions. I want you to know that you have worth and I really appreciate you as a human. You're killing me with kindness. You know what? We're all going to die one day. And it's sad that you wasted your life hating on other people. So I feel sorry for you. See, that went all the way full circle. So there you go. There are five ways that you can handle haters. And at the end of the day, just pull a T-Swift and... Shake, 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 shake. Alright, that's enough of that. Alright guys, thanks for coming back this week. I hope that you got some useful information. Check out my social media outlets below. Make sure that you like this video if you liked it. And please, please, please subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you next week. Bye y'all.
that's a wrap.